All right, welcome to another unboxing. I have a, sorry, <clears throat> unboxing. I have a uh, order, a seven bucks a pop order, as you can tell from the tape. Um, today is actually December 25th. Uh, I have some time to, to, to do this. Uh, this came in on December 23rd. I ordered it December 16th. It shipped December 19th. So it only took four days to get here once it shipped. And I currently have a pop in a box order that um, since December 16th, which was when I did this order, uh, has been saying that it has arrived, but is acceptance is pending, but it also says accepted, but accepted pen, acceptance is pending. So I, I'm going to wait until after the holidays and if it's still like that, then I'll try to contact and see if I can figure out where it is because it's it's in town that's the last scan was in town so uh but this came December 23rd and uh it came because seven bucks a pop did a 12 day Christmas sale thing today was the last day um or the last sale day and I didn't I did two more orders because the days sale was for their protectors so i got me some pop armors coming in i got two i can only get two, you only get one so it's one two pack because that's the smallest package they come in uh so got a little bit of discount on that and i went ahead and ordered for, based on additional days after this one this is from the first few days first three days i think is once i look through some things did sell out some things didn't. And if it was something that I wanted, something that I needed, um, I got it. And I also added other items that were not part of the sale. So there's actually, I'm not sure which ones were actually part of the sale and which ones weren't. But there was one particular pop that I definitely know that I needed and seven bucks a pop had it. So I went for it. I don't remember the condition level on it either. So, uh, uh yeah, I should have brought my phone. Let's go and open this up. So like I said, day September 25th. It's like what, 5 p.m.? Almost 5. It's not quite 5. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I got my order stuff here. Um, I don't know which stuff was from the sale. It doesn't say on the packing slip. Hmm. I know one thing that definitely was part of the sale. So we have this item here. That's in its own box. All right. Okay. Yeah. I got some candy. Oh, I have the uh, packing peanuts, so I need to get that. But I do have some double bubble. Let me go ahead and chew on some double bubble. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Okay. Hmm. Should I turn this upside down and go on the other side? I don't want to make a mess. If I can avoid it. There we go. Get him up from this way. All right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> You'll probably see those. I'm just, I gotta get these foamy things out, penis out. All right. You see some of those. Let me get my. Damn. I have very limited movement. Like I said, I have a small place. Alright, so this is a... Oh, this is an advertisement for their uh, signed. Every Saturday they do a, a signature series drop. Um, they actually have a Sinbad. So they got the pop from uh, his character in Jingle All The Way. 
There's an El Raro one I wouldn't mind having that's still available. It's just it's $125. Okay, so how am I going to start this? I'm going to start with this one. Because this one's a little bit damaged. This is the Goldar. Because I got a bunch of Power Rangers ones, but I'm like, I don't have a Goldar, so I'll go ahead and get Goldar. Um, I got this one. <coughs> yeah, it's a 610 damage, so it's 6 out of 10. Uh, that's where you kind of get borderline where you're definitely going to have visible. It's not a very expensive one anyway. I only paid, I don't know what I paid. I have to find the invoice. But it was released in 2018. It was for the 25th anniversary. Next year will be the 30th anniversary. Um, does have a tear. But I already knew going into it, it was going to be a bit damaged. Um, with seven bucks a pop, I think... If the damage uh, condition thing they have that's out of a 10, if it's like 7, 7.5, you're probably going to be okay with that one. You're not going to have a lot of noticeable stuff. This is when you get more noticeable. Like the box is like more deformed because you have this piece coming out. Um, like something that was heavy was on top of it. Yeah. But I knew that going in. What's next? We'll go ahead and get this one done. This is one that I definitely know is one that I just search randomly on the site because I'm like, you know what? You know what I have? I have a Garth Pop. I don't have a Wayne. So now I got a Wayne for my Garth. And the Wayne Pop is a 6.5 out of 10. So this one, not too bad. From the looks, quick look. The front's still presentable. It does have a ding, just on the side, like that. Um, it does have a tear, this right here. But, that's why I said seven, I think you're still got it where the it's still presentable. And I say this is still presentable. Next. I'm going to go for the Trinity, which I think is another one that I just searched randomly. I don't think it was in the sale. It might have been. I can't remember. Trinity here is a 7.5 out of 10. So they're 7.5 out of 10. There's just like a little scuff on the side. A little... Not much of anything. It's actually very presentable. So if you get 7.5, 7.5 is still very presentable. And then we got one that I've been wanting to get. Wanted to get. Never got. And that's because it was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. And I'm kind of like, I don't want to get Entertainment Earth. Get my Gambit. I have a Rogue. So I wanted to have a, gam a Gambit for my Rogue. Uh, this one is this is 6.5 out of 10 so this one yeah this has a bit of crease all along the bottom this side corner um, it does look like it was scuffed a bit right here you can see where it's brown and then you can see where it's not brown so it's like where it's kind of chipped a little bit so that's actually a bit of damage on the front, but from far and everything, I mean, I can see it still. Arm length. I can still make it out. But overall, it's not bad. I mean, it's just some some corner crease. That's like right at the corner. A little dirty. I don't know how much of this actually shows up. Oh, that's pretty good. So 6.5, you're still pretty good with the 6.5. But expect that there could be something that might be scuffed in the front. Um, 6 is usually where there's some kind of major damage. So, like, the... Which one was the 6? The gold dart was 6. Like, this one, they would consider this major damage. It's more deformed. Because it looks like obviously stuff has been weighed on top of it. 
You have tears. Dwayne was 6.5. Now, 7 bucks a pop because of if it has damage like that, they do take a little off. So, I think they had a Gambit that was in better condition. I think it was something like 7, 7.5. And it would have been about a dollar or two dollars more. So, it's usually just they knock like a dollar or two off. I was like, I think I can do 6.5 because I think I did a Power Rangers one before that was a 6.5 and it's like, yeah, there was some noticeable, but it's still presentable and the pop itself is still fine. And a lot of these, it's not like they're really that expensive. Um, So I need to figure out how much I paid for these. I don't remember what the price was for all these anymore. <laughs> I think my Wayne was the more expensive one. I got the Trinity. This is from the Matrix Resurrections because I have two Neos. And while I could have got Morpheus, I'd rather have the Lawrence Fishburne Morpheus. That one I'm just probably never going to get because uh, the original lineup is pricey. And I have an original Neo and it's it's a $100 pop. Trinity is like just under that if you got like the original one. Okay, let me open this up. This was the one I definitely know was part of the sale because it was it was two figurines. But it's Dorbs. It's a Dorbs two pack. <laughs> Jetsons. I only paid two dollars for it. I, that, this one I remember was two dollars. So this was still sealed in the box, so the condition is excellent. I mean, the Funko sticker, this here looks like it's peeling off. That's probably just from being in there for long, and it probably was sort of peeling when it was put in. But yeah, these were like Funko Shop exclusives. Got Elroy and Astro. Got me some Judsons. Um, there was an order I did with Pop in a Box before, that it was a pre-order that was done like almost two years ago. And... Um, it was Funko Sodas and it included a Rosie, which is the uh, robot made, um, as well as a Beetlejuice and an Egon. But eventually they just canceled it because it's just like, yeah, it wasn't coming in. I could have ordered a Rosie. That was one of the ones that's on the sale that was from one of the days was a bunch of Funko Sodas. And there was a Rosie in there. And I'm like, I cooked my Rosie. But I'm not really, I didn't really need the Rosie. So I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can carefully put this in the box. We'll put the gold R in the bottom since it's already pretty damaged. Even the Wayne is a bit more damaged than the others. I think Trinity was the one in the best condition. <laughs> it's the one worth the least. Actually, the gold R might be worth the least. This can go right here. Um... I want to quickly check. Kind of how much of the day um, there was a last pass breach thing again, or they've got more information that they decided to release from the August breach. And now I'm just kind of like I've been going through and changing all my passwords for, uh, you know, prioritize things like your mail accounts and. Anything like Google, Microsoft accounts, things like that. And then, of course, anything that has your payment information, you want to make sure, like your PayPal and if you're, wherever you do your taxes, things like that. Just bank accounts. And bank accounts, definitely, because they don't have two-factor. So, any of the ones that don't have two-factor, go ahead and, like, prioritize those, actually, I guess, first. But it's just, it's so much to go through. And I have, like, accounts in my account that I don't know. Like, what is this? Because it was probably something from like 10 years ago. Because I imported it from some other... I think when I used to let Firefox keep up with my passwords and almost tempted to just do that again because it seems to be just as easy. But I think what I might do is not have... Might, might be the kick in the butt needed to just not have LastPass anymore. All right, my order from December 16th. 
Trinity, I paid nine dollars. Goldar, I paid seven. Lane, I paid thirteen, and the Gambit, I paid fourteen. Hmm. I don't know which ones were part of the sale. It doesn't show it on here. I don't know that. Um. Maybe it was all. Maybe the Dwarves was the only thing I got. The Dwarves was the only thing I got that was part of the sale. Wow. Everything else I just searched because I needed it. Because I could use a Goldar because, like I said, I have other Power Rangers, but I didn't have a Goldar. But I have a, I have a pudgy pig. I have two Neos and no Trinity, and I'm like, I need to get at least Trinity. I have some X-Men figures, but I do have a Rogue, and I don't have Gambit go with it. And, um... I needed a lane for my Garth. Because a lot of those dual things, I kind of want them. I still have a... I have a boo-boo that needs a yogi. So that's what I need to try to get would be that. Um, so I didn't get the splinter. Oh. I opted not to get the splinter. There was a splinter figure. Because I don't have splinter. And it's because I don't like the way the newer Splinter looks. The original Splinter is $63. And I could get that. But I don't want to pay $63 for a pop. They do have three Target exclusive ones. With varying different degrees of damage. Um, a 7, 7.5, and a 6.5. So pretty much any of them. But it's going to be at least $20. Even for the 6.5, it's $20. And then there's the Art Series Target exclusive. Which it's like... The cheaper one. It's 15. It doesn't come with it. It says it has no stack because the artist series come with stacks. This one doesn't have a stack, so someone got it and used the stack for something else. That's $15 and in, and in good condition. 8 out of 10. So it was like I was going to get that. But I don't like the artist series. And I don't like the way Splinter looks because he looks more like a beaver than he does a rat. I like the older way because you can still have the, you know, the two the two teeth, and he doesn't look like a beaver. Okay, let me cut in here with an update. I took a break in editing and checked the tracking for the pop in a box order that I mentioned earlier. Today is January fifth, twenty twenty three, and earlier in the day, the tracking still showed last scan on December sixteenth, twenty twenty two, at eight oh six a.m. with the shipment received acceptance pending. I contacted on December twenty sixth, so it had been over a week since that message. I uh, was supposed to hear back within three business days. Did it, but did get a survey link. This was last week. Earlier this week, they sent they resent the survey link, and just last night I went ahead and did it giving us somewhat dissatisfied as I never got the issue resolved at the time. Now, 1.48 p.m., it was accepted, and at 3.03 p.m. today, it arrived at the post office, though it was accepted before it arrived, even though technically it arrived three weeks prior, whatever. Maybe the negative remark gave a quick kick in the butt for something to happen, I don't know, but almost three weeks stalled, it's now more in position to arrive to me tomorrow, hopefully. I generally don't have issues with the United States Postal Service. It was around the holidays, lots of packages, so I was lenient and more patient than others would be. I think the more you order, the more likely you'd run into these types of things, and it being December when tons of other people order online, then it was going to be more likely. All right, now back to your uh, somewhat regularly scheduled program. Okay, anyway, here's the original. You can see it. There's the original. And then to the right, there's... The newer one, which is from the... When they had it down under Retro Toy Line for some reason. <laughs> and then this bottom one here, which I'm going to bring my window up a little bit so that it's visible. Yep. Visible? There you go. As you see, that's the Artist Series. I don't like that one. It's cheaper. It's $15. But I don't like it. Alright. I just don't like the way they look. So that will be it for this video. We got the Trinity. We got the Gambit. We got the Wayne. And we got Goldar. So the ones in worst conditions are the ones worth the most. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Except for the Goldar. Goldar is in worst condition. He's worth the least, so that's fine.
It's just to have the figure. Now I have a Gambit to go with my Rogue. I have a Wayne to go for my Gar. I got a Trinity to go with my Neo. And I have a Goldar to go with the fact that I have Rita. And Lord Zed. And Pudgy Pig. I gotta get this going because my battery's gonna die. And So, that's it. Night.